Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm doing some resin work today. A lot of you want to know how to color it and all that kind of thing. So let me just tell you what I got going on here. I got Illuminite, um, Illumilite black dye, and this is made for the uh, resin. And you can use whatever resin you get. This is the uh, casting, the quick cast resin that it goes solid in about five minutes. And all I did was I put two tablespoons in here of side A and two tablespoons in here of B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this. Now I'll do a video coming up. I have tons of these different colors. I have flesh colors and metallics and all that. And I'll do a video on all of them. But for now, I'm going to uh, put some drops. Let's see if I can open this. I'm going to put some drops. And it tells you 1 to 20. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in there. Come on, just a little plop. Pop will do ya. And mine's a little thick because it's been sitting down here. It probably needs to thaw out. And then I'm just going to put that back on. And I'm only putting it in the one. I've not mixed them yet to activate. The minute you mix them to activate, it's going to activate. So you see, I'm just mixing it and it turns black. And like I said, I will have videos coming up of using food coloring, of using paints, of using all kinds of things. But I'm going to do this real quick. And before I mix it, I want to show you um, that I have a paper towel real quick, two molds that I made. And I made this one. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know why. All right. So I have this one because there's sun coming in the window. And then a bat one. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's move it over that way a little bit. Now that I mix this and the black's all in it, I'm going to mix part B. I'll scrape all that deliciousness in. And you can mix it in another container if you have it. And I'm going to stir it. So they're mixed real good. And I just kind of, I'm not a very neat person. I just want to kind of go for it. All right. And then I'm going to pour until it goes right to the top. And you can see it's filling there. And I'm going to take my stick and just kind of move it up there into that last little bit. All over on the sides. Okay, and then I'm going to do my bat. Oh, look at that. See how I dripped? But watch. I'm going to scrape that off because that has nothing to do with, I can wipe all that off. I really just want my mold. So I'm going to push it up in those little ears, push it down here. Okay. And that's not going to matter. I'm going to wipe it off. Now you see, I have a lot left over. Um, so if you have other molds, I don't know. Let me see if I have, yeah, I do. I have my baby doll mold somewhere and I can't find it, but I'm going to do another wing. Remember we made this? So I'm going to make that wing. So I'll just pour the rest into here. I'm just going to pour it all over. So if it's thin, it get, it hits everything, right? And you can scrape it out like that to get the last out. Now I just leave it dry in these cups because I can peel it out very easily. But if you are OCD... And I don't say that as a bad thing. I say it because I'm OCD, but not over these kind of things. I like to have fun and not worry too much. Um, but there's many silly things I'm OCD over. But you can see I'm just kind of pulling it over. And I probably could have used a little bit more, but I'm not going to mix anymore. We'll just take it as it comes out. And I'm just kind of squishing it up there a little bit. Just so it really hits and gets one layer. And this is so easy to file and all when done, so... I'll use it for something. And you know me, the more grungier and not that it looks like something, <laughs> I like it. And so I'm going to leave everything sit. And when I come back, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, and let me just show you. All right, so these are what I did. I These are the resin, I mean, these are the jewelry pieces that I made the mold out of, rather. And then we have a bat. Okay, so that's them. They're just regular metal pieces. You can use plastic and all, it doesn't matter. So let me undo these. 
I'll do this one first. This was the weird photo. Now you can see, obviously, my dog was up here with me. Obviously, um, I didn't have enough resin in here. Now, do I care? No. Um, and let me show you. So you just kind of pull it around the outsides. And look, comes right out. And look how cool. It's a very tattered, tattered angels. Get it? Anybody get it? Okay. Um, so it's a, it's a broken wing. So, you know, I'm going to use this bad boy. All right. So that's that. And then there's this jewelry piece, which is the skull. Oh yeah, boy. Look at this. Can you see uh, my lighting? Uh, let me tell you, I can't even tell you about my lighting right now, but let's see if I hold it still. Maybe you could see it. You see, now I'm going to put some, um, what you call it? Like some, uh, not rub and buff. What do I love? I love something. I can't remember the name. Oh, some of that delicious, uh, metallic luster, metallic luster that I love to bring out all that deliciousness. So I'm going to be doing that. And if you can see up here, I molded the, um, thing where the jump ring goes through. So I'm going to poke through that. Let me see if I can poke through it real quick while I'm here with you. Because there's nothing that I love more than poking. That's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. So I just have this. And I'm going to... I know. I'm kind of far away. I don't understand why my camera's so far away. But then again, so am I. So I'm always far away. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this through. Let me tell you something about these nails. These are all my nails. There is not one fake thing on these nails except this delicious wrapping, right? Which I'm getting new ones today. However, doing things like making jewelry, because I've been doing a lot of commission work, which I love. I'm so thrilled about. But doing things that um, I want to do, you know, that I have to do, like jewelry and stuff like that, and they're very hard with my nails. I just, and this hand, what the heck happened to this hand? They break. And they grow. They br I don't. Okay. Anyway, that sounds like a Kelly problem. I'm sticking it in. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. But anyway, so you stick this in and it goes through. Now I can put my jump ring. Maybe if I got on camera, then you'd see. Then I can put my jump ring, right, that I want to put through. So I'm going to make a, just kind of move it around and all that fun stuff. Right. So now I have, let me see if I can show you. There's a hole there. So I can put a jump ring in there. And once it's fixed, um, once I do the uh, treatment on it, then it's going to be a delicious little charm. All right. Now let's do this bad boy. Now watch. See how that peels up? That peels up. Now, you might not want the piece of dog here because I was cuddling and smushing my dog's face because I just love him so much. I can't stand it. Um, so if you are cheap and easy... Easy and cheap, cheap and easy. I like me. I sometimes won't throw these away. And what I will do is glue them because you can. They're just resin pieces. Glue them on a mixed media piece or a art journal piece for texture. Um, and they work fantastic. I mean, they it's wonderful. And you can see it's thin. It's this and that. Um, however, I'm throwing this one away. And then I have these pieces here that are, you know, they're almost dry. Some of them, I, I think my bat is a little bit still a little damp, but we're going for it anyway. Oh my God, get off my fingers. Okay, so then we have this, and we have this, and now let's do the bat. So I'm going to do like this and lift him up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. Can you see the detail? It's my thing, you know what, if you have it on autofocus, then it's always going in and out. Let's see if I can, if I don't autofocus that better. I don't know what the heck it's doing. It's not being my friend today. Let me turn it this way for a second. Anyway, can you see? Yeah, there you go. See that? Oh, that delicious texture. That is going to be fantastic. And then there are holes on top of each. Let me grab my pen right here. So I'm going to poke through and I'm doing it. Well, it's a little, not all the way set. Now it's set, but it, why am I yelling? I could hear my husband probably saying to me, would you shut the hell up? Um, it's the Italian in me. I can't hold that, but it's still a little givey. 
So I'm going to try to, uh, you know, poke through it. Um, if not, when it's dry, you can use a small drill bit or an awl. Um, I don't think I have my awl sitting here. Oh, I know. Um, but anyway, so you can poke the holes in and then you can put the, um, see like here's the holes. See, like you can see right through that. So then that means that it's up here where you can see, let's see if you can see it. Yeah. See the hole up there? Right there. So you could put the holes in there and then you can use it for, now you see that little boopy piece right there? We don't need that little boopy piece. That'll just come right off. It'll pull off if you want it. Or you can take scissors and cut it off or sand it off when it's all dry. But look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited, I can't tell you. So that is what happens with these. And then just take a rag or whatever, and we're gonna wipe this off. You can peel it off as well, do whatever you want, and then it's off. And the same within here, I'll just, you know, push it around. These are the I honestly I didn't leave it the full time, but you can see how well it works. Now let me see if I can show you. Like I said, I wanted to get this video made today, but you can see it peels up. Look. And it will peel off and your cup will become completely clean again inside. Look, look at that. So there's that, which is a wonderful thing. And these come with it. This might be a little, still a little, yeah, it's still a little wet, but you can see it peels right off. And my cup, look at that. And you can see the cup goes completely look nah, 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 nah. and that comes off watch then that whole bottom comes off I you know I'm always hands in balls deep as they say oh maybe I should <laughs> I shouldn't have said that I'm always I'm always you know I don't I don't use gloves that's what I'm saying uh, what kind of mood am I in today all right Okay, so you can just scrape the rest out. You see how it comes out. Very easy. Comes off the thing. And very simple. So, this is fantastic, like I said, to if you find a piece of uh, jewelry that you love and you want to uh, make new pieces, this is definitely the way to go. Now, let me grab a black... You know, I'm so much better making videos without cursing and doing all the stuff that I used to do because y'all, some of you would be upset and say it's not appropriate. And I do. I, I try my best to um, remember that I'm on camera and be polite and, you know, for the people who don't like it. However, sometimes, sometimes I, uh, I go off the trails. Okay, so I'm taking a jump ring and I'm opening it right and then I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna stick it in through there through the hole that we made it's gonna be these dang nails come on baby come on baby yeah nope wrong side it's these nails and these nails come on just go through nope it's not going through and there's a hole. It's just my nails are getting in the way. Wait, do I got it? Do I... I know, I'm off camera. Don't yell at me. I'm just trying to get it through the hole. So then it can completely, there we go. So it completely dries and then I can seal it up. Because it's a little, you know, it's a little soft yet. It needs to harden. But you see how that does that? Look at that. Look at that cool. All that detail on there. It's wonderful. So I have that in. Now I'm going to let everything completely dry and I'm going to, do this up and everything like that. And then I'm going to add it to either a necklace or a bracelet or something. I don't know. And then once my bat's dry, I will do the same. And I'm so excited. So excited. So that's all. I just wanted to show you guys this today. And I wanted to show you it with the dye because you guys have been asking. And then I told you I'm going to do some more small videos to show you different things that you can use in different ways. Um, cause there's a million different things you can do on here, but as always, please be kind to each other. You'll never know about battle. Somebody else is fighting. Leave me a thumbs up. If you like watching my videos, I appreciate it. 
And um, that's all. I love you guys. And anytime you want to see something, just let me know down below or message me all my infos down below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.